Hey guys and welcome to another Ant Care Guide. This time I'll be remaking one of my first and most popular care guides, my Polaratus Vermiculosa Ant Care Guide. Now, I have more experience raising these queens and a few of you have been requesting a remake, so I figured maybe it's time to finally stop procrastinating and upload a video. Anyways, enjoy! So first, I'll sort out the habitat. I would recommend keeping them in a test tube setup, just like any other founding semi-claustral queen, and fill the test tube with one third water. Then plug that water with a cotton ball, move the queen in and then plug the test tube with another cotton ball. If the queen is newly caught then I normally just dump her in, but if she has brood I would recommend moving her in by covering the new test tube and exposing the capture or old test tube to light. Moving in can take anywhere from 10 seconds where the queen just picks up her eggs and leaves, or 10 hours when the queen decides to just frustrate you and just not move in. The next most important thing is the food. Since these ants are semi-claustral, they need food during the founding stages. I have found that the species of ant loves formiculture protein powder mixed with sugar, but insect legs and sugar water also provide nutrients and sugars. Normally after I feed them, they lay eggs within a few days. Sometimes they don't however, so let them take their time laying. I would recommend pl replacing their food once every 3-4 to four days and take out insect body parts a few hours after feeding if the queen isn't interested in the food to prevent molding. For this species, and in fact most species of ants, patience is key. If you complete all these steps, then the queen should lay within a month's time and her first generation nanotics should close after 3-6 to six months. It's not rare for these ants to not lay after 2 months before finally laying a batch of 1-2 to two eggs, but in the end, the reward is worth it. After a few years, you will have a bustling colony with hundreds of shiny gold workers that will eventually start producing elates. By the way, if you are curious about what winning my giveaway is like, make sure you check out Ants of Australia's unboxing video. I will post a link to his video in the description below. He also uploads really cool content, so make sure you subscribe to him. On that note, we now officially have a Discord server. I will be announcing an exclusive giveaway there, so make sure you join to not mix miss out. I will post the link in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this ant care guide and I hope this helped with your Polaratus ant queen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.